today we're going to be talking about the G30 one-handed keyboard from Red Thunder and why it's going to be a top-tier purchase for your gameplay. Let's get into it. First off, I want to go over some of the basic color changing functions, which is pretty cool for such a cheap, cheap keyboard that it even has color changing functions. Um, but you can cycle through basic colors and then you get back to like a rainbow and you can also go through, there's some different effects. There's like a, like a wave effect and a static switching effect. So, I mean, there's a couple different ones. I like it just kind of rotating through the colors just like that. You can actually even speed it up. You can see it's going way faster or you can slow it down. I like it kind of slow and just mellow and chill. It's cause I'm just a chill guy. So I like to hang out and just relax. But again, for a 17, $18 keyboard, it's freaking cool that it even has any type of RBG or anything. But that's not the main reason you're gonna buy this keyboard without a doubt. Let's go ahead and go over the keys. Now, obviously they are not gonna be mechanical switches. This is what they sound like. It's a very basic membrane type of feel, but it's got a nice little spring to it. And I play with Browns or um, even on this, this G Pro keyboard, they, it's a tactile switch and it kind of feels the same. This is a little bit shorter, but it's not too different to the point to where you're even gonna really feel it that much after a day or so. And as far as the keyboard, how it feels in your hand, it is very light. As you can see, I can just kind of adjust this and <laughs> move this around at will, as opposed to a keyboard like the Logitech G Pro, which is, it's it's pretty hefty. It's got a solid back plate in there. It's way more durable for sure. I mean, it's, it's also a hundred dollar keyboard or maybe even more at this point. I'm not sure. This keyboard, while it does feel light, it does feel well put together and it doesn't feel like you're gonna, or it's going to fall apart if you just, you know, move wrong or hit a key too hard or something like that. I feel like this is a product that if you take good care of it, it'll take care of you. And for this wrist rest, it's actually very, very good. It feels really good in my hand. I have a little bit bigger hands than most people probably. I'm 6'5", so uh, probably a little bit bigger than most people. However, it's very comfortable and I find myself being able to kind of move all around it and feeling comfort all over this thing. So I know it's just plastic, but it's weirdly, comfortable and i have a really nice wrist rest a uh, hyper x wrist rest actually or it's uh it's one of these and it's super nice i actually used to use it for my setup but i don't need it anymore so i don't use it anymore but this is very actually i prefer this because it goes with your natural curve of your hand when it's going up like this on the keyboard let's talk about the biggest reason you would want to buy this keyboard is just the simple ergonomics of it and you having so much more desk space because as you can see i can actually put my arms straight in front of me this is crazy i've never done this as long as i've been playing on mouse and keyboard which is like the last four years or so and being able to do this makes my shoulder my elbow my wrist my hands happy because i was actually running into shoulder problems because my hand was all cockeyed like this trying to play as i'll show you you cannot put your keyboard in the same position as with a one-handed keyboard with a regular keyboard because i'm sitting here doing this and so you have to play with your mouse like down here or up here or in a weird position like you have to go like this to try to play and then your hands all jacked up in another six months it's crazy that these keyboards are actually still being used after only like two or three weeks of using this. It is insane the difference that I've felt. Even my aim has improved. I've been able to play longer, better because my uh, fatigue level is way lower. So it's just way better for you mentally, physically. It's so nice to be able to have this at your disposal to have all this room and play with good ergonomics. Speaking of playing better, let's see some of those clips. White, 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 blue, 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 blue. blue. Why did it oh. oh my god! Ooh. Oh yeah, I Oh my god. Oh my god, I saw that. No, 
you're not getting his shit. Good shit, dude. Obviously, this keyboard is one of the best decisions that you could possibly make in your entire gaming, whether it be casual or trying to game at a high level career. Even though it doesn't have mechanical switches, there I noticed no difference in it. It felt fantastic after about 10 to 15 minutes of getting used to it. It felt amazing. I haven't noticed any differences and I play Fortnite and Warzone. So both very high paced games, well, can be high paced or you can play like a snail. It's totally up to you. I don't, I play it a more high paced. So building, editing, all those feel great. It feels the exact same, no slowdown. All the keys are anti-ghosted, so you can press as many keys you want and they're all gonna go through, which is amazing at $18. And what I would recommend you do with this keyboard is check it out, see if you like how it feels because there are always more options with better mechanical keys and more options on the keyboard, more macros. Now this one does have two macros. I didn't really go over it um, because I don't use macros and I don't really know anyone who does use them if they even use them at all, if those are even used anymore. I don't know. However, not a real big feature of this keyboard, but there are other keyboards that are more expensive that have those features available. Now you can use this as kind of a tester and then you know send it back if you wanna upgrade to like a 40 or $50 one. Either way, this is gonna be a great, great decision for you. I promise you will not regret it. Go out, buy one, and you will thank me. That is all for this video. I will see you on the next best by top tier equipment review by its double. Peace.